Hey guys, Poverty Point Customs here. What I'm working on today is my realistic, it's a chronomatic a 115, it's a flip clock radio. This is from the late 70s into the 80s. And what happened is on the front, your clock is actually uh, run by a little motor and these have a tendency of seizing up when they haven't been used for quite a while. So I'll show you how I fixed it. So as you can see, the uh, motor's spinning and every minute it will uh, actually flip the uh, time forward, uh, one minute. So what happens when these haven't been used for a while, they have a tendency of seizing up. And before I show you how I actually fixed mine, anytime you have electronics, especially 110 volt, you always want to make sure you know what you're doing, especially when it's powered on and... As you can see, a lot of the electronics are open and you got to be very, very careful. So make sure you know what you're doing or make sure it's unplugged. And with some electronics, it's got to be unplugged for a little bit uh, for everything to discharge. So just be careful. And what I'll do is I'll unplug it and I'll show you how I fixed it. And the way I fixed mine, it is very, very simple. Again, these motors... When they're not used, a lot of times these sit around for decades without people using them. And when they go to plug them in, the uh, part of your clock isn't actually flipping. Everything will look like it's powered on. However, the uh, minutes and hours aren't actually changing. So what you have to do when these haven't been used for a while is give a little tap on the side of the motor. This is your motor right here. And it will unseize it. Again, with time, they have a tendency of seizing up. So just tap on the side. You don't have to go super heavy or hard on it. Just a matter like that. Again, make sure everything's unplugged here. You don't want to get into touching your capacitors and everything. And this actually fixed mine just by tapping on the motor a couple times. And then I plugged it back in. And then it started working. Um, if anybody's interested, I'll get into a more detailed video on a little more maintenance into these old flip clocks if people want to know how to clean them how to oil them and whatnot so if you're interested in that make sure you leave a comment below and we'll get a little more in depth in this uh, so what i'm going to do is put it all back together and then we'll uh, see how everything's working All right, so when you're taking this apart or putting it back together, there's two screws here, two screws here, one in the center, one right there, and two right here. So these screws here actually hold the clock and the motor onto the unit. So the first ones you have to put in first before you put this back together is you have to put the clock back on and screw these in about halfway. That way it gives you enough wiggle room to put on the face. As you can see, I had it upside down, so that's why it's all out of whack. And then you need to put on your cap here. This is for your adjusting your frequency. And then your little plastic cap. This has got to come off in order to uh, take off the top and this is for your sleep timer so in order to take it off take it apart you need to take this part off here and then the screws on the bottom and then comes off this way and the hardest part is squeezing the front part off it's you got to make sure those are out in order to give you room to uh, bring this case forward and that's how you take it apart and that's how you put it back together. So we're going to plug it in and see how it's working. And there we go. We uh, went through 
11 minutes in hyperlapse and we're up to 13 minutes now and it's still working great again this is a realistic chronomatic uh, 115 it was made for Radio Shack and just a little shot of the side and the uh, radio still works on it it's the other side that's where you adjust your alarm and adjust your time and again just a short video on how to fix it very simple uh, if it is an issue with the seized motor again it's just a matter of taking the cover off giving it a little tap on the motor and you should be in business if not you can get uh, reproduction motors they are a little bit pricey you can find them online though and as days go by these little clock radios are actually uh, starting to go up in price quite a bit so if you can get your hands on one certainly get it and uh, set her aside because I have a feeling these are going to get quite pricey down the road. Anyways guys, just a short video on how I fixed my flip clock radio. Thanks folks. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. If not, hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bell on and we'll see you later on in uh, future videos. Take care.